Welcome back in this lecture of the Legenda polynomial. Today I am going to solve the problem based on the Legenda polynomial. In my previous lecture, I have given you the proof of Legenda polynomial. That means the solution of the Legenda differential equation, and then I derived the recurrence relation for the Legenda polynomial. Now let us solve few questions based on the Legenda polynomials. So, so that. Your p n one equal to one. Your p n minus one or p n minus x equal to minus one power n into p n x. Then with the help of this one, so that p n minus one equal to minus one power n. Then p n dash of one equal to one by two n into n plus one. Then p n dash minus one equal to Minus one power n into one by two n into n plus one. So solution now I will prove the first part, second part, and third part with the help of the with the help of the generative function of the Legendre polynomial at one minus two x t plus t square. Power minus half is equal to p power n into p n x, where you n is from zero to infinity. Now, as we need one in place of x, so let us put x equal to one. Put x equal to one in say equation number one. So this is your one. If you put x equal to one here, then we will have one minus. Now this will be a one minus two t plus t square. So this will be one minus t whole square. That means one minus t power minus one equal to here we will have t power n into p n of y. Now this is your series of one minus x power minus one, which, which is your one plus x plus x square plus x cube, and then t power n. So this will be your n equal to zero to infinity one into t power n. And the right hand side we have n equal to zero to infinity t power n into p n one. So if you equate the coefficient of t power n on both sides, then you can see that your p n one equal to one. So on equating the coefficient of x, on equating the coefficient of t power n on both sides, we have p n one equal to one. Now let us put x equal to minus one, or replace your x by minus x in equation number one. Again, replace x by minus x in equation number. One. We have one plus two x t plus two square or minus half is equal to p power n into p n minus x. So this is your equation. Now let us. Now let us replace t by minus t so that the left hand side of equation number one and the of this equation becomes same. So again replace again again replace t by minus t. We get. So in the left hand side we will have one minus two x t plus t square four power minus half is equal to n equal to zero to infinity minus t power n into p n minus x. Now here you can see that say if this is equation number two, left hand side of equation number one and two are same. Therefore by one and two we have n equal to zero to infinity p n p n x. Is equal to n equal to zero to infinity minus one power n into t power n p n minus x. So again, on equating the coefficient of t power n, we get. So here we have p n minus x or p n x equal to. Minus one power n into p n n minus x, or you can write it as p n of minus x equal to p minus one power n. 
PLX. So, from here it is clear that if your N is even, then in the right hand side we will have plus sign. So, that means your Legendre polynomial is a even function whenever your N is even. And your Legendre polynomial is an odd function if your N is odd. So, if N is even, Legendre polynomial is even. If your n is odd, then your Legendre polynomial is odd. Then the third part. For that, let us put x equal to 1 in this equation. So, put x equal to 1. If you put x equal to 1, then we will have pn minus 1 equal to minus 1 for it, pn 1. And by part 1, this pn 1 was 1. So, this is your minus 1 for n. So this is your third part. Now coming to the fourth part, as your Legendre polynomial is a solution of Legendre differential equation, as Pn is solution of this differential equation, so it must satisfy this one. So let us put x equal to, so if it satisfies this one, then we will have 1 minus x square pn double dash of x minus 2x pn dash of x then we will have n into n plus 1 of pn of x equal to 0. Now let us put x equal to 1. So if you put x equal to 1 then this is 0. Here we have minus 2 pn dash 1 and this is equal to minus n into n plus 1 pn of 1. And your pn1 is 1 because of the first part. So, this is equal to, so pn dash 1 equal to n into n plus 1 upon 2. And this is what we have to prove. So, as your pn1 is 1, so we have this relation. Now, again put x equal to minus 1. Again, if x equal to minus 1, then, so if your x equal to minus 1, again then this is your 0. Here we will have 2 plus 2 pn dash minus 1 is equal to minus n into n plus 1 pn of x is minus 1. So, this is your minus 1. Now, your pn minus 1 was minus 1 to power n. So, this is, so this would imply pn dash minus 1 equal to, this is your minus 1 to power n. So, we will have minus 1 to power n plus 1 of n into n plus 1 by 2. So, this is your last part. So, this will be the solution of your last part. Here you can write it as minus 1 for n plus 1 or minus 1 for n minus 1. Okay, now next question. Show that. In the next part, we have to show that your p to n 0 is equal to minus 1 power n, then 1, 3, 5, dot dot 2n minus 1 divided by 2, 4, 6, dot dot 2n. Here we have to prove that this is equal to this one and your p to n plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay. So, we have to prove that this is equal to 0 and this P to N is equal to this one. So, solution. Let us use the generating function of the Legendre polynomial. So, at 1 minus 2 x 3 plus t square power minus half is equal to n equal to 0 to infinity t n p n x. So, let us take the event term. So, we have t power 2 n into p 2 n of x. Now, what I will do is I will equate the coefficient of t power n on both sides. So, for that, let us find out the coefficient of p power 2 n in this left hand side. So, put x equal to 0. So, in the left hand side we have, in the right hand side we will have n equal to 0 to infinity p power 2 n p to n 0 and this left hand side will become 1 plus t square or minus half. Now, 
we can have the binomial series for 1 plus x power n. So, this is equal to 1 plus nx. So, we will have 1 plus n that means minus half into x square. Then, we will have n into n minus 1 upon factorial 2. So, n into n minus 1. So, this will be minus 3 by 2 upon factorial 2. Then, we will have t square whole square. Then finally, your nth term will be minus half, minus 3 by 2. Then this will be your minus 2, n minus 1 by 2, n into. Then we will have your t power n whole square. So this will be, this will be your t power 2n, n divided by factorial n. So now on equating the coefficient, now this is your t power 2n. So, if you equate the coefficient of t to power 2n on both sides, then so equating coefficient of t power 2n on both sides, we get in the left hand side we have t 2n 0. Now, in the right hand side, this is your t power 2n coefficient. So, this will be your minus 1 by 2, minus 3 by 2, then we will have minus 2n minus 1 upon 2 then divided by factorial n ok now we can write it as take now we have total n times so this will give you minus 1 power n and in the numerator we have 1 into 3 into 5 into dot 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 2n minus 1 and in the denominator we will get 2 power n into factorial n. Now this 2 power n into factorial n can be written as this will be 1 minus 1 power n into 1 into 3 into 5 into 2n minus 1. Now factorial n can be written as 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 6 into 4 into 5 into 6 up to dot 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 n. And we have n factor of 2. So this can be written as your 2 1 multiplied by 2, that is 2, then 2 into 2 will be 4, then we will have 6 and multiplied by 2 n. So, this is what we have to prove. So, your p to n 0 is equal to this thing, minus 1 power n, 1, 3, 5 up to 2 n minus 1, then we have 2, 4, 6 up to 2 n. Now, what will be the coefficient of 2 power p to n plus 1? Now, here you can see that we have the even powers of t. This is your t square. Then have, we have t power 4. Then we have t power 2 n. As we do not have any odd powers, so again, this is your p to n plus 1. So that means odd number. So again, as we do not have any even term, well, as we do not have any if or power of t, so the coefficient of p to n plus 1 will be 0. So again, equating coefficient of p power 2n plus 1 on both sides, we get p to n plus 1 of 0 equal to 0. Because in the left hand side, we do not have any even power, we do not have any odd power, so this will give you 0. So, this is the solution of this problem. Then next problem. Question. Show that integral minus 1 to 1, 1 minus x square pm dash, pm dash dx is equal to either 0 for m not equal to n and this is your 2n n plus 1 upon 2n plus 1 if your m equal to n solution. So, here we have to show that this integral is either 0 or this one for m not equal to n and for m equal to n. So, let us take the left hand side. Now here, let us, as we have to 
integrate with respect to s so with respect to x so let us have the bipart integration so for bipart integration let us differentiate this term and integrate this one so we have 1 minus x square pm dash and then the integration of pn dash will be pn and then the limits minus 1 to 1 then we will have minus sign minus 1 to 1 and then the differentiation of this bracket which will be your d by dx of 1 minus x square pm dash and then we will have pm dx now the first term is 0 because at x equal to 1 and at x equal to minus 1 this 1 minus x square is 0 so this is equal to integral minus 1 to 1 d by dx of 1 minus x square then we will have pm dash into pm dx now as we have this equation as your legendary polynomial is a solution of legendary differential equation so we have this differential equation as we have this equation and this equation can also be written as d by dx of 1 minus x square pm dash plus m into m plus 1 pm equal to 0 so from here we have the value of this derivative as equal to minus m into m plus 1 pm so the value of this derivative is equal to this term so by equation number say 1 put this value in 1 we get the left hand side as we will get this left hand side equal to now here we have minus n again here we have minus so this will be your plus so we have m into m plus 1 then the integral minus 1 to 1 pm into pn now by alternative of the legend of polynomial this integral is either 0 or 2 upon 2n plus 1 for m equal to n so this is 0 if your m is not equal to n this integral was 0 for m not equal to n and this integral is equal to 2 upon 2n plus 1 if your m equal to n so this will be a 2 upon 2n plus 1 if your m equal to n so put m equal to n then here we will have 2n plus 1 and this is when your m equal to n and this is because of the orthogonality of this legend of polynomial and this is what we have to prove then the next question and the last question of the legend of polynomial is show that the value of the integral minus 1 to 1 x square pn plus 1 pn minus 1 equal to 2n n plus 1 2n minus 1 and then 2n plus 1 2n plus 3 so so that this is equal to this one so solution we have the reference relation number 1 so as we have the reference relation 2n plus 1 of x pn equal to n plus 1 p n plus 1 and pn minus 1 so this was your reference relation number 1 now we have this reference relation here we need pn plus 1 and pn minus 1 so replace your n by n plus 1 and n by n minus 1 in this equation number say 1 so replace n by n plus 1 in 1 so if you replace n by n plus 1 then we will have 2n plus 3 pn plus 1 now here we have replace your n by n plus 1 so we have n plus 2 pn plus 2 here we will have n plus 1 into pn so this is equation number 2 replace your n by n minus 1 in 1 <coughs> we get now if you replace your n by n minus 1 we will have 2n minus 1 into x pn minus 1 now this will be your if you replace your n by n minus 1 then this will be your just n 
P n. And here we will have n minus 1 into P n minus 2. So this is equation number 3. Now let us multiply the equation number 2 and 3 and then integrate it with respect to x from minus 1 to 1. So, so on multiplying equation number 2 and 3, multiply 2 and 3 and then integrate with respect to x from minus 1 to plus 1 we get now in the left hand side we will have 2 n plus 3 into 2 n minus 1 and then integration minus 1 to 1 x square p n plus 1 into p n minus 1 into dx now in the right hand side if you multiply this term to this term then we will have n into n plus 2 then integration minus 1 to 1 p n into p n plus 2 then multiplication of this term to this term we will have n square minus 4 sorry n plus 2 n minus 1 and then the integration minus 1 to 1 p n plus 2 p n minus 2 dx then we will have this p n and this p n so this will be your n into n plus 1 minus 1 to 1 p n square then your last term will be n plus 1 into n minus 1 so this will be your n square minus 1 minus 1 to 1 p n into p n minus 2 dx now using the orthogonality of the Legendre polynomial this integral will become 0 because your n is not equal to m so this is 0 again we have n as n plus 2 m as n minus 2 so again this product will be 0 here your n and m are equal to each other so the value of this integral minus 1 to 1 p n square will be 2 upon 2 n plus 1 so for this we have the value 2 upon 2 n plus 1 and again this integral is 0 so therefore using the orthogonality orthogonality of Legendre polynomial we have the left hand side as 2n plus 3 into 2n minus 1 then the integral minus 1 to 1 x square pn plus 1 pn minus 1 dx equal to now this will be your n into n plus 1 then we have 2 upon 2n plus 1 so your integral minus 1 to 1 x square pn plus 1 pn minus 1 dx is equal to 2 n into n plus 1 upon 2 n plus 1 then we will have 2 n minus 1 then we have 2 n plus 3 so this is your value of this integral and this is what we have to prove so this is all about this legendre polynomial